good to talk to you again. The scenes coming out of Paris today, really quite moving. You're in the midst of up to a million people marching in solidarity. I can only imagine the atmosphere is palpable. It is indeed. You can really feel the weight of emotion in this crowd here. Uh, the march started here. Uh, people get, began uh, gathering around noon, uh, but it, the march really started about half past three local time, four o'clock, and headed a, a couple of kilometers down the road to Place de la Nation. This is called Place de la Republic, where I'm stood here, and this is where over the past few days since the Charlie Hebdo attack, uh, which isn't too far away from here either. Uh, this is where people have been turning out over the last few, few nights to show their solidarity and to, to hold those victims of the, the shooting, 17 in all, uh, over, the, over the days uh, in their memories. And Jack, these scenes of solidarity, these scenes of unity, uh, world leaders in amidst the throngs of people, something quite remarkable, perhaps not seen since the end of World War II. It is. It's, it's very incredible to see so many people here. And also the purpose of this Unity March is to show communities coming together. The French people across the religious spectrum, across uh, the, the spectrum of where they've come from. So there's Africans, there's Arabs, there's Jewish people, there's Muslim people, and they're all holding up signs saying Je suis Charlie uh, and, and saying that they are part of the same community and that they do not accept the kind of extremism and violence that has happened over the past few days in these dreadful attacks. And, and Jack, just interesting you touch on that point because I wanted to ask you that, that this theme of solidarity, not only people showing support against violence that we've, we've seen in Paris over the past few days, but also using this as a platform to make that global stand, as you say, against extremism and acts of terror, whether from the days of 9-11 until now. Yes, indeed. So this is one of the biggest kind of uh, scenes that we've, we've ever seen in France, for sure, of this kind of uprising of public opinion, really backing the, the right to freedom of speech. Uh, there's, I've spoken to many people here, journalists from all over the world, clearly this was an attack on journalistic freedom, who are saying that it's absolutely crucial that people stand up for the right to freedom of speech and that to make sure that people here uh, know that they are welcome in this community and are allowed to hold whatever belief and whatever system they have without persecution and without the fear of being killed on the streets of Paris, obviously. All right, Jack, thank you very much. We'll leave it there. That's our correspondent, Jack Parrock, live from Paris for that Solidarity March.